I feel like it could be Bran because there's Murlocs available. And Quillborn. Drysus is not bad though, as a hero. But I feel like Bran is better. Super JG in the lobby. My friend is suffering. Let's say hello. Let's do Predacious versus him as well. Gabs has a very big minion. I keep losing every single fight. That's so bad. Like, I feel like Bran is not that good in the early fights until he actually gets the Bran. That's a triple. Not even sure if this is worth it. How goes the fight? Who knows what secrets we have? Maybe you take a free drop. <laughs> this meta is so fucking tempo oriented, I feel like taking a free drop is correct. And then the cat has nothing. I mean, she has nothing, she takes 15. That's the name of the game! 5, 7, 10? 14! Yeah, get fucked! Like, I don't know, meta is so tempo oriented with no shields and uh, everybody's just sitting on one. I'm not the biggest fan of that, I like leveling up. I mean, you probably know that. I like fucking leveling like there's no tomorrow, dude. Not sure if I should all in on this or just uh, distribute. I don't want to buff the scout. Scout is gonna go soon. Opponent might have taken your brand. What can I do about it? Not play the brand previous fight, thinking I, I might one in six fight uh, scabs or one in five, whatever it is. Buying Balcrys doesn't fill up the bar as much as buying Death Rattles. Buying Death Rattles fill up, fills up the bar too quickly, I think. First four games. Shut up, Doubter. I'm gonna win this game just to fuck you up. Even if it requires me to use all my energy for the entire day. A bit extreme? Perhaps. I am sometimes a bit extreme. Um, 
Maybe it was correct to buy this and sell this to keep the other duplicate. This is max power, but maybe keeping another duplicate was better. Losing to JJ? Bro, even on tilt, I'm not losing to JJ. Calm down. I'm not gonna lose to JJ. Miss triple. We legit have only Murlocs. Your true potential. Swabby is decent. If I win this fight... Never mind, we lost this fight. Bro, how can we take 10 damage from this fight? It's so much. It's so much to take 10 from this fight. Why six drops? Uh, I'm all good on. I feel like over discovering for fives is a mistake when you have Swabby and so much tempo. I am sending you back in three, two, one. Okay. Devourer is not so good now. I really hope I get my triple egg. I cannot hold the egg too much more. Nice, enjoy your 4-4 four, four, JJ. Enjoy your 4, your 2-4. Avenge. Cool. Very cool secret, big fan. He has ice block, so he's not looking that bad. See, is good.
I don't think we're fucking around. We need a good dawn. Egg is worthless. We have Eliza Dawn. We just need a little bit more on that and then we're good. We can even play Menagerie. Does that save him? Nope. Moves out there. I should go to six here, right? Lookout and Jag are both good. Not sure how much I want to keep Eliza for the Dawn, but they're not bad together. They're not great, but they're not bad. Ardu, if you qualify for a Battlegrounds tournament, I will ask my girlfriend to marry me. Doesn't really show that much confidence in your relationship. One Sephin is enough, but Gargle is a bit more important here. We don't we don't need a module. Tony is not terrible. But we probably want to go like full Murlocs and at some point ditch Eliza. So he's not ideal either. Eliza stays like one more turn, so I can play second on. Then she can go. Nothing can slow you down. This guy has a lot of stats, but not that many. But Gargle being poisonous is not great for me. I might still have to sell it. Unless you want to sell the rock pool.
I wanna go Spore in over Bran. But let me keeping the Bran one more turn to just proc a Divine Shield is correct. Why not sell the 4-4? Because the 4-4 is gonna get poison us. He has just very thick Murlocs. I think we beat very thick Murlocs. But we don't dominate them. I don't want another poison, one is enough. That'll make things more interesting. Pick a new member for your team. True potential. He will adapt, Copium. I mean, if he wants to adapt, he's gonna get a ghoul. If he gets a ghoul, I don't wanna play Spore. Unless I also manage to put some gems on it. How does Ice Block Discovery work in Battleground? Uh, the way it works is, after you pick it once, you cannot get it offered again. But you can get it offered not pick it and then get it offered again but once you pick it you cannot get it again that's pretty much how it works i think murloc guy is gonna beat demon guy so it's us versus the murloc guy demon guy doesn't stand a chance Panda can get multiple ice blocks. I heard that too, but I never got multiple ice blocks in one game. Wow. That's a freaking lucky tavern. We just played like this. Oh, I could have slingered the guy in the tavern and do it again. It shouldn't matter. The guy is trying to proc shields. Even if he would get ghoul, it would be irrelevant. He cannot proc enough shields to win here. But yes, if I would have played the Malgadon with Dawn in the tavern, I could then do another Golden Dawn. It was absolutely unnecessary, but I could have done it. Right in time. Spore is good because it's as many stars as Bran but more useful if it actually comes to the combat. Finally won a game in this weird meta. Pretty bad start but then just turn it around. It feels like I'm still earning way more than losing. 
So somehow my memory is still like above this. I don't know how I can I cannot explain it. But I went 8781 and I'm almost uh break even. Maybe because most people are very like are way higher ranked, like 10 eleven K. Are you happy now, Mr. Steamer? I'm always happy, regardless of the result. I'm still not happy with my play because I still don't understand the metagame totally. 